Hello and welcome to another standard gameplay video for the official MTG Arena channel. From now on all my videos will be scheduled to release on Saturdays on this channel so make sure to tune in on Saturday to catch my latest upload or simply subscribe to the channel to be notified of every new video. For now we're taking a look at a red-black mid-range deck that's trying to meld Phyrexian Dragon Engine with Mishra claimed by Gix, a deck I've attempted before but I've made a few changes to make it more consistent at getting Mishra lost to Phyrexia in play. So first off let's take a look at the Dragon Engine, 3 mana 2-2 two, two double strike, so not the most exciting creature to play unless you can increase its power somehow, which we're not really doing here, so instead we're often going to try and discard the Dragon Engine so we can later unearth it from the graveyard for 5 mana, in which case it will enter the battlefield with haste, can attack, maybe get 4 damage in, and more importantly when the Dragon Engine enters the battlefield from our graveyard we may discard our hand and if we do draw 3 cards so it can be a nice source of card advantage in the late game and we've got quite a few discard outlets to get the Dragon Engine in our graveyard between a Bitter Union, a nice addition here, 2 mana enchantment, when it enters the battlefield we can discard a card if we do draw 2 cards, so early on it can smooth out our draws, maybe discard some removal spells against control strategies or dig for cheaper interaction against aggro, and then for 1 mana we can also sacrifice the Reunion and then creatures we control gain haste until end of turn, which can be quite nice alongside maybe the token from Fable of the Mirror Breaker or alongside the the reflection of Kikijiki itself so we can copy a creature right away, can maybe activate a harvester to take out an opposing creature and also more importantly can help us meld Mishra with Dragon Engine by giving them haste so we can attack and meld the pair right away. So the reunion is quite nice and then of course we also have Fable of the Mirror Breaker as another discard outlet, starts out by making a Goblin Shaman that can make more treasure when it attacks, great source of extra mana and then on the second chapter we can discard up to two cards and then draw that many so that's when we can discard our Dragon Engine and eventually we get the Reflection of Kiki Jiki. We can also copy our creatures giving them haste so it can be quite nice especially alongside the Blood Tithe Harvester which is a nice 2 drop as a 3-2. When it enters it makes a Blood Token and we can tap and sacrifice it to maybe take out an opposing creature by giving it minus X minus X until end of turn where X is twice the number of Blood Tokens we control. So if we activate the Harvester by itself it gives minus 2 minus 2 but the more copies we play the stronger that ability becomes and by activating our Reflection of Kiki Jiki we can copy our Harvester, get an extra Blood token from its ETB effect and then the token we copied will also gain haste so we can activate it right away taking out an opposing creature in the process and then the extra blood tokens that stay behind we can also sacrifice for one mana to maybe draw a card after discarding so that's another way of putting our dragon engine in the graveyard where we can then unearth it later and then the second part of the melt duo is Mishra claimed by Gix for mana 3-5 legendary creature. Whenever we attack each opponent loses X life and we gain X life where X is the number of attacking creatures. So the turn we play Mishra we can maybe already drain the opponent for a bunch if we have a few attackers out. And then more importantly if we have both Mishra and Phyrexian Dragon Engine attacking at the same time we can melt the pair into Mishra lost to Phyrexia which will be a 9-9 Phyrexian Artificer and when it enters the battlefield or attacks we get to choose three modes out of the six different ones including the opponent discards two cards we can deal three damage to any target we can destroy an artifact or planeswalker creatures we control game menace and trample until end of turn we can shrink the opponent's team down by one and eventually make two tapped power stone tokens as well so a ton of great options and this will usually decimate the opponent's board and often win the game on the spot. So that's our goal, get Mishra and Dragon Engine in play and now thanks to all the card draw from Fable and now also Bitter Union we've got a ton of ways to find the two cards to meld into Mishra Lost to Phyrexia. And then the rest of our deck includes some cheap removal to stay alive against the aggressive decks in the format since the best of one meta has settled down. There's decks like Mono White Soldiers, Blue White Soldiers, Mono Red Aggro so you need to be prepared with lots of cheap removal which is why I have three copies of Cutdown and three copies of Voltage Surge and we can also maybe sacrifice a Blood Token or Treasure Token to Voltage Surge so it can deal four damage as opposed to two so it's still relevant in the late game and then at two mana I've got a split of Go for the Throat to destroy non-artifact creatures and a Braid which can destroy artifacts or deal three damage to a creature then we also have the full set of Tenacious Underdog, another card that we don't really mind discarding to a Bitter Union or Fable of the Mirror Breaker, since we can still blitz it out of the graveyard for 4 mana and 2 life, and then it will enter the battlefield with haste, can attack, and then end of turn we have to sacrifice it, but when it dies we also get to draw a card, so it can be another great source of card advantage, and with Mishra draining the opponent and gaining life whenever we attack, it can also maybe make up for the lost life from blitzing Underdog. 
And then we also have two copies of Shieldred, the Apocalypse, which can also reward us for drawing cards by gaining two life each time, so it can also make up for the Tenacious Underdog, Frax and Dragon Engine will gain six, and then Fable and Bitter Union are also great with a Shieldred in play, and then if the opponent tries to draw, then a Shieldred will drain them for two instead, so it can be another great finisher, and can maybe win us the game without having to melt Dragon Engine with Mishra. And then against the red burn decks, getting to untap with Shieldred to gain life is an easy way to win the game. And then a mana base is pretty simple, 8 basic swamps, 6 mountains, we've got the 2 channel lands for added interaction, and then the red-black dual lands for additional mana fixing. So yeah, that's our deck, now let's jump into some games and see how the deck does. Okay, we're on the draw. Our hand's probably fine, just some cheap interaction, some 2 drops, but at least underdog still plays well in the late game. So we're set up to potentially fight an aggressive deck with all the cheap interaction, even though our land most likely comes into play tapped on turn one, because if I want to cut down on one, then I wouldn't be able to play my two drop on curve. So I think we let officers slide. There's also scarier soldiers we need to take care of. So we're point on blue-white soldiers. Take two. And they might be making some one ones end of turn. So playing Harvester seems decent here. Hang on to a removal for the scary 3-drops. Opponent had nothing, so their hand has got a lot of expensive cards in it. Might have to keep Voltage Surge to destroy the 3-4, the 4-mana Legend. And for now, can take 2, Dragon Engine can block the Officer profitably. And Sky Strike Officer we can cut down. And yeah, we've got Mishra plus Dragon Engine setting up. So, can play Underdog to maybe trade for Officer, cut down the Sky Strike Officer. And then if they have the 4 mana Legend, I wouldn't be able to kill it at instant speed, so might as well tap out. And attack for 3. Prefer keeping Harvester as an answer and trade away the Underdog. Another Sky Strike Officer. And a 1 drop, so they can draw right away. So now we'll have to Voltage Surge the Sky Strike Officer. And then play Dragon Engine, or I can just let them draw, play Mishra. If I play Mishra, then I won't necessarily be able to meld it next turn, since Dragon Engine is not in my graveyard. So I think the safest place to just Voltage Surge Sky Strike Officer, sacrificing. Potentially even the Dragon Engine itself, if we want to keep Harvester's Blood Token around. In case of a Brutal Cathar, which they very well could have. And then we can unearth the Dragon Engine as opposed to keeping it in play. Yeah, I kind of like that idea. So our opponent's going to tap their team to draw. And then Harvester can attack, we'll keep Underdog back on defense. Then next turn play Mishra, and then turn after we can unearth. Alright, there's a Shield of Argive that I was afraid of. So not having Voltage Surge as an answer now is gonna hurt. Although... If we meld Mishra, we can still beat an army of 1-1s. One Happy to trade here. And Shieldred's not bad either. But we'll give Mishra a shot. And then I think I keep Harvester around to potentially answer a Brutal Cathar still. It's gonna be a Valiant Veteran to pump the team. And a Siege Veteran. Okay. So we've got our work cut out for us, but next turn we get to meld Mishra. So hopefully that goes well. Shield of Argive picks up a counter. And attacks, making an army of 2-2s. Two so what needs to happen next turn? We meld Mishra. We can deal 3 to the Valiant Veteran. Let our opponent's team get minus 1, minus 1. And then first maybe kill the Veteran by shrinking it with Harvester. So they get fewer tokens in return. And then Shield of Argive survives, but I guess that's fine. So yeah, we'll deal three, 
minus one, minus one. And then, not sure what other mode we want. I guess I can make two power stone tokens. Okay, so for now, take five. And tap find Voltage Surge. Harvester can also kill Valiant Veteran. They'll get a 1-1, one, one, which then dies. Yeah, I guess that makes more sense. Okay, so three damage. Minus one, minus one. And then two power stones, I think, makes the most sense. Bundles get two one ones. So next turn, they can pump the team with Valiant Veteran in the graveyard, but shouldn't be quite enough to kill us. And then next turn, another attack from Mishra should do it. Put on chumps. Probably reduces their outs. Since, I guess, outside of Brutal Cathar, their best chance is to just kill us next turn. Although, not sure what combination of cards really does it. Just playing another Valiant Veteran is the same as just activating one. They also have the Beachhead as another Anthem effect. So we'll see. Just a land of the top. And Valiant Veteran activates. They can activate that at instant speed, so they were probably better off attacking, making the tokens, and then pumping the team. But yeah, another attack from Mishra will certainly do it. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the play, and is not perfect, but probably still keepable. No one mana plays. And uh, a little bit redundant with double underdog. Up against Monorad Aggro and Kumano, a great way to exile both underdog and dragon engine. Now it's probably fine to play underdog, can trade for whatever creature the opponent plays next. And we definitely want to have a more controlling stance in this matchup. So Adversary 3-3, three, three, trades for underdog just fine. And at least it will still end up in our graveyard. And then now we want to keep up cut down if possible, but that does mean we won't be able to play any other creatures. So maybe I do just tap out for Dragon Engine at that point to be mana efficient, and then next turn we can try and exile Kumano. Problem is if they have a burn spell for Dragon Engine, it will be exiled if this transforms. So that's a reason to take a different approach, maybe just pass with a braid and cut down. Hope they play a creature we can abrade, and then we can still cut down Kumano at least. There's also the option of Harvester... And then we can activate the blood token at the very least. Discarding another underdog perhaps, or the dragon engine, so it doesn't have to go through the battlefield to get value. Yeah, you know what. Let's just play Harvester. And Felden, that's something we want to destroy without dealing damage to it, if possible. And they had the play with fire. Okay. I think I'm happy activating the blood token, so next turn plan is just kill the opponent's two creatures. And then probably prefer discarding the dragon engine over underdog. Since underdog we can play for cheap as a blocker. Mishra's nice. So I just need to hit our land drops now. Could not quite do it. So, yeah, we'll pass with Cut Down and a Braid Up. Might as well wait in case they have another Felden in hand, which is legendary. Or if they present a scarier creature for us to kill. Mechanized Warfare, perfect, so they wouldn't be dealing any damage this turn. But now we really want a land to play Mishra. And then ideally another one to play the Dragon Engine out of our graveyard. Swiss Pier 
is pretty scary with a warfare out, so I don't think I'll be blocking it if I can avoid it. Even another play with fire would be enough to trade for Mishra. Opponent passes with a bunch of mana up, so of course they could destroy the dragon engine before it gets a chance to attack. But we also have the option of blitzing underdog now. And with Mishra's ability we'll gain a bit of life back at least. And then cut down can still hit Swiss Spear, so that works out perfectly. Question is whether Mishra also wants to attack, would gain us a little bit more life, and if we're not planning to block with it, I guess we might as well. And then timing the cutdown is going to be tricky. Could do it now on a Swiss Spear, could wait. Although if they have multiple instant speed burn spells, they could grow the Swiss Spear out of cutdown range. Tricky spots, I guess we'll draw with Underdog first and see what we pick up. Maybe that will change our decision. Harvester. Alright, I feel like cutting down the Swiss Spear is safe now while the opponent only has one red mana up. So we don't take any unnecessary risk, even though opponent could potentially present like a Reckless Stormseeker or Squee that we would prefer to kill instead. But if they tap out for one of the three drops, then we get them with a Dragon Engine. It's gonna be a Phoenix Chick. And yeah, now our opponent's kind of perpetually forced to keep up mana to kill Dragon Engine while we can add other cards to the board. So I think just attack with Mishra, play our entire hand out. And we should be in the driver's seat now. Monorant can certainly be a tricky matchup, which is why I've kind of increased the number of one mana removal spells in the deck. So one card now that could be effective from the opponent is and the festivities, which would deal two to everything, so that would kill Underdog and Harvester. And then if they also have a burn spell, they can maybe clear Mishra as well. And yeah, there it is. So, that works. Opponent is down to 8 in the meantime. So, that's fine. Mishra down. Voltage Surge hits Phoenix Chick. And then we can maybe unearth the Dragon Engine to just draw a bunch of cards. So even if we did not get to meld this game, I think we're still going to be fine. Harvester, so we'll have to discard that if we want to unearth Dragon Engine, but we get to hit the opponent for four and draw three cards. That's going to be worth it. Go for the throw. It does not answer Mishra's Foundry. That's the only drawback here. Okay, maybe still use the Blood Token to discard Swamp. So that's going to deal two. And our opponent probably has a couple more burn spells in hand from the way they've been playing. So, yeah, discard lands, and then we can still keep up Go for the Throat while blitzing Underdog. Another Mishra, maybe better. Yeah, and then keep up Go for the Throat. And then next turn, a blitzed Underdog with Mishra in play is certainly a lot better. So opponent may be aiming their burn spells upstairs now. Yeah, that's four damage. So if they have another lightning strike, we're just dead. So that end of festivities might have been the turning point in this game after all. Opponent moves to combats. Kill Phoenix Chick. Another Mishra's Foundry. So they don't have a lightning strike, but they could have a play with fire, which deals three. And of course, if we blitz Underdog, we would pay two life, so then we could die. So we're just going to attack with Mishra. Opponent's going to be forced to chump with Foundry. Uh, otherwise, they die. And then I can play backup Mishra, just to have an extra blocker out. And now at five life, we're feeling a little safer. Alright, so we'll let damage happen. Best case scenario, our opponent tries to burn Mishra. But, uh, yeah, I think I should still just play another one.
Otherwise we could have died to a squee off the top. Making a token, hitting us for 5. Opponent activates Foundry, will block. And then next turn a Blitz Thunderdog should do it. And the festivities kills Mishra. And yeah, we're gonna end up at exactly one life blitzing underdog to kill the opponent. So this game was actually incredibly close, and that end of festivities did a ton of work for sure. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw, and our hand has both of the combo pieces here. So we'll try it. Harvester for early interaction. And then Bitter Union can maybe hit our land drops as well. Up against Mono Blue and Delver Transforms, revealing Essence Scatter. So, not what we wanted to see. So, we can play Bitter Reunion for now. And then maybe get the Dragon Engine Essence Scattered so we can resolve Harvester to answer the Aberration. And putting Dragon Engine in the graveyard means we can unearth it with haste right away. And then Bitter Union could discard another Bitter Union. Although we could keep the card draw to find some cheaper removal spells, which may come in handy. So I could just discard the Dragon Engine so we can unearth it at 5 mana. And then next turn maybe try Fable, and then on turn 4 we can double spell Harvester. Should be able to find a 1 mana answer to the Aberration at some point. Opponent negates. They are still stuck on 2 lands, so their hands must be filled with goodies. Okay, go for the throw, it's not bad. But now seems like a good time to resolve Double Harvester while the shields are down. Could have also gone for Mishra, although a Fading Hope there would be a little bit more painful. So Delver does not transform. Opponent passes. So we have a lot of options. We know about the Essence Scatter, of course. So step one, maybe try and kill Aberration, see what the opponent's response is. They might have a protection spell. Slip out the back. So, while I could go for the throat, they could have another one mana protection spell. So now might be a good time to try and resolve Mishra. And then just let this slide. The second Harvester can still try and kill the Aberration next turn. And then for now it can gain a life while it attacks. Could have also given Mishra haste by sacrificing Reunion. We'll see if Delver transforms. Does not. Aberration attacks. And yeah, can try to use Harvester on Aberration. Hope they tap out and then unearth the Dragon Engine. Opponent lets it slide. Well, we can still unearth, or we can uh, try to double spell here, which may be safer. So we'll attack with Mishra. And then I think just pass with our instance available. Don't really need to bitter union. Delver transforms, finally revealing Consider. And we can abrade. Opponent considers in response. That worked. And if they play Tolarian Terror, we could still kill it and pay the ward. Delver, we can go for the throat, although we can also just kill it once we unearth. So let's go for it. Not gonna discard my hand. 
but I will attack. And then we can shrink the opponent's team down, deal three to the opponent, and then not sure what else we want to choose here, but our opponent concedes, on to the next one. Okay, we're on the play, hand seems promising, double harvester to go with fable, shieldred as well. And we're on the play, so if we're up against an aggressive deck, we're not going to be under too much pressure early on. Opponent on Esper instead. So we'll have to find out if it's the Esper Legends variant, or maybe a more controlling approach. Another tap line, so yeah, hit for three, play Fable. That resolves. And then next turn we could already play a Shieldred. No combo pieces in sight, no Mishra, no Dragon Engine. So this might be kind of the old-fashioned red-black mid-range beatdown. Now, opponent hasn't played anything yet. So I don't know if we discard both copies of Cutdown or just one. They might be on a more controlling build, in which case they won't present many creatures for us to kill. Okay, there's Mishra. So start by attacking, and then we'll see if we want to deploy Mishra or Shieldred. Mishra makes more sense if we can attack right away to drain the opponent. So we'll give Shieldred a try. Could also keep digging to hit our land for the turn with a Bitter Union. And then maybe discard the Abrade. Which I can also see being reasonable here. Opponent could also have a sweeper next turn, in which case we don't want to overextend. So we'll try Bitter Union. They could also be sitting on a counter spell for all we know. And there's a couple lands. So could play another Harvester. And that is reasonable, but uh, if there is a board wipe, I might want to keep it to go with our Reflection of Kiki Jiki. So I'll play it safe. Opponent with a Union, end of turn. Certainly points towards control. So that gained him a ton of life. And at 6 mana, a card like Farewell is going to be quite devastating since it can deal with everything including enchantments, artifacts and our graveyard. Okay, I think we give uh, Mishra a try. See if that resolves. And then we can maybe sacrifice Bitter Union, give the team haste to just drain the opponent for a bunch. Okay, that worked. And our opponent concedes, alright, I guess that does it. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the play. Our hand could use an extra land, but uh, not gonna turn it down. Harvester plus Fable is always a nice combo. Facing turn on plane, so it could be white aggro, could be control. It looks like blue white soldiers after all. Thalia's gonna slow down Fable, although if we just kill it with Harvester, we can still play Fable, which is probably fine. The earlier the better. Now, Brutal Cathar is a pretty clean answer to our Shaman token, but then they might not be able to exile Mishra. Gonna be a Sky Strike Officer instead, so that's what we like to see. And then one Mishra can go, and I think probably Underdog as well. We could play it alongside a Braid, but ideally we find a 3 drop we can play thanks to the Treasure Token. Or we can just play Mishra, of course. And now Frax and Dragon Engine is very nice too. We have a bit of reunion to potentially give our team haste, so we have a lot of options. Probably want to just abrade the officer and then take it from there. And between Dragon Engine and Bitter Union. If I Bitter Union discarding Dragon Engine, then next turn play Mishra. Then we can unearth on the following turn and maybe pick up some more interaction. So don't mind that. And a Voltage Surge is nice. And yeah, opponent already throws in the towel, just too far behind, thanks to an early fable. Okay, we're on the play. Our hand seems promising. We've got Dragon Engine alongside Mishra. 
And then uh, Petro Union can maybe give some of our creatures haste. Fable's always nice to give us a bit of a mana boost up against green whites. And now we'll probably just play Harvester and then try to curve out with uh, Fable as opposed to going Dragon Engine first. Can still play Mishra and then unearth a Dragon Engine on five. Okay, so we'll hit for three. Play Fable. Opponent with a Fateful Absence. So not quite sure what the opponent's up to. And now a Soul Partition, nice answer to our Shaman token. Discarding Dragon Engine and maybe just a Bitter Union now. Then play Mishra, hope it survives. And then try and unearth Dragon Engine next turn. And if not, we still have Double Harvester to combine with Reflection if any creatures show up. Opponent passes with 4 mana up, so they probably have a Wandering Emperor in hand, which can break up our combo. So probably don't even want to attack with Mishra. Instead, I could play Harvester, crack the clue token, and take it from there. Just kind of develop our board and let the opponent make the first move. All right, let's pass. Opponent just had another fateful absence after all. Fair enough, so we'll be cracking some clue tokens here. I can also use my blood token to dig for another Mishra and Soul Partition Reflection. Okay. Well, at least we can still replay it for 5 mana. And now a Voice of the Blessed, so there's some life gain synergy in there. And sure, let's discard land and uh, should maybe hang on to Crucible to channel it, although I highly doubt that's going to happen, so I might prefer the extra black source. Voltage source is nice. And a Mishra. So now we can maybe kill Voice if they try and gain life in a response. We can still Voltage Surge. So let's start there. That worked. Play Mishra. And then could play Harvester in case there is some sort of board wipe. Maybe better off cracking the clue. Another voice. And Overseer, so now we'll Voltage Surge before it grows. But put on tapping out means we'll get to Melt, which should be pretty powerful here. So I could have saved myself the Voltage Surge if I wanted to, but now we can make them discard too. And then give their team minus one and deal three to them. And I'll keep my cards in hand, I think. Move to combat. So target opponent discards two cards. Give their team minus one, minus one, and then I can deal three damage or give myself two Power Stones. The Power Stones could be nice with all the artifacts we can activate here. So we'll pass. Opponent is at 10, and discarded Wandering Emperor and Kalos Command, so yeah, they might have had the Wandering Emperor available on turn 4. Alright, so yeah, we got to see our red-black Mishra deck in action. Got to meld Mishra quite a few times, so I'm happy with how it's played out. And I think I prefer this over my original build, which was a little bit more creature aggro and less focused on finding the combo. Now with Bitter Union, we get to dig deeper into the deck. We've got another discard outlet to discard the Dragon Engine, so we don't necessarily need to cast it and can instead unearth it right away. And then Surprise Haste for Mishra can also maybe help us melt when the opponent doesn't expect it. So yeah, that's going to do it for today's gameplay. want to thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day.